God says, My dear child, I want you to know that money is flowing towards you like a magnet, bringing wealth abundantly into your life. Watch this video till end to claim it. This is a time of great financial blessing for you, a period when your finances will grow and your resources will multiply. You might wonder how this will happen, and you might even doubt the possibility. But remember, I am the creator of all things, and I have the power to provide for you in ways that go beyond your understanding. Trust that I am working in your life, and soon you will see the evidence of my abundance. This flow of wealth is not just about money, it's about prosperity in all forms. It includes opportunities, ideas, and connections that will lead to financial gain. These opportunities might come in various ways, perhaps a new job, an investment, or a business idea. Be open to receiving these gifts and be prepared to act when they come your way. As this wealth begins to enter your life, remember the purpose of these blessings. They are not given solely for your comfort and enjoyment, but also for you to be a blessing to others. Use this abundance to help those in need, to support good causes, and to spread kindness in the world. In doing so, you will find that your wealth increases all the more. If you love watching our content and believes in Christianity, then help us to grow by giving Super Chat up to $50. Stay humble as you experience this increase in wealth. Remember where it comes from and give thanks. Gratitude will keep your heart in the right place and will open the doors to continued prosperity. It will also protect you from the pride and greed that often accompany financial gain. To further attract this flow of money, maintain a positive mindset. Believe in your worthiness to receive these blessings and visualize the abundance flowing into your life. Your positive energy will act like a magnet, attracting wealth in its various forms. Be wise with the wealth that comes to you. Manage it responsibly, making smart choices and planning for the future. Avoid the temptation to spend frivolously or to make risky financial decisions. Instead, focus on building a solid foundation that will ensure long-term security for you and your loved ones. As you navigate this period of increased wealth, you might face challenges and obstacles. These are simply tests of your faith and character. Overcome them with integrity and perseverance, and continue to rely on my guidance. I will lead you through each challenge and help you to continue on the path of prosperity. Remember, too, that true wealth is not measured by money alone. It is also found in love, joy, peace, and spiritual fulfillment. Cultivate these aspects of your life as diligently as you seek financial wealth. In doing so, you will experience a richness of life that money cannot buy. In the days to come, keep your eyes open for signs of the wealth that is flowing toward you. It may arrive in unexpected ways, so be prepared for surprises. Each sign is a confirmation of my promises to you, a reminder that I am actively working in your life. Be patient, for everything happens in my perfect timing. The flow of wealth might begin as a trickle, but it will soon turn into a steady stream, and then into a powerful river. Trust in the process and know that I am always with you, providing for you and loving you. Type 444 to affirm. Finally, my child, 
As you receive this wealth, share your testimony with others. Let them know about the blessings I have poured into your life. Your story will inspire faith and hope, and it will encourage others to trust in my provision. So, rejoice, for money is flowing towards you like a magnet, bringing wealth abundantly. Be ready to receive it, and be prepared to use it well. This is just the beginning of a new chapter in your life, a chapter filled with abundance and prosperity. I hope this message inspires you and fills you with anticipation for the blessings coming your way. My dear child, I see every step you take and every breath you breathe. I understand the desires of your heart and the dreams that you hold close. There are days when you feel overwhelmed and nights when you wonder if I am there. But I am always with you, guiding you through each moment of your life. You have been hoping for a miracle, something that would bring a change, a sign of my presence in your life. I know this because I know everything about you. You have been patient, and your faith has been strong even when the path seemed unclear. Now, I want to assure you that the miracle you have been hoping for is on its way. It will come to you not as a grand spectacle, but in subtle moments that will fill your heart with joy. It will be in the smile of a stranger, the comfort of a friend, or a sudden good fortune that comes when you least expect it. Remember that miracles are not always about changing your circumstances instantly. Sometimes, they are about changing you, making you stronger, more compassionate, and more aware of the beauty in life. The miracle I am bringing you is designed to touch your life profoundly and beautifully. As you await this miracle, continue to live with kindness and integrity. Help others even when there's no benefit to you. Speak words of love and encouragement, let your actions be guided by the goodness in your heart. These are the ways you keep your spirit aligned with my plans for you. Do not worry about when or how the miracle will arrive. Trust that I have the perfect timing and the most loving intentions. Continue to pray, not only asking for what you desire, but also offering thanks for what you already have. Gratitude opens the door for more blessings. In difficult times, when doubt tries to creep into your mind, remember all the times I have been there for you in the past. Recall the moments of unexpected joy and the times of peace that came amid turmoil. These were all part of my care for you. As we move forward together, keep your faith strong. The miracle you seek is woven into the fabric of your future, a future filled with hope and guided by my hand. You will see that everything you have experienced has prepared you for this beautiful moment. So, my child, hold on a little longer. Your miracle is coming, crafted by my love and destined to bring light into your life. Let this promise fill you with peace and anticipation. Continue to walk the path I have laid out for you, knowing that each step brings you closer to the fulfillment of your deepest hopes. With my endless love and blessings, continue to walk forward with confidence. Know that the wealth flowing towards you is part of a greater plan for your life, a plan to prosper you and not to harm you, a plan to give you hope and a future. As you witness the manifestation of this promise, it is important to stay connected to me through prayer and meditation. If you want to join our spiritual family today to unlock a path to inner peace and enlightenment, then make sure to click on Join button.
and participate in our transformation journey. In these quiet moments with me, I will offer you wisdom and guidance. These practices will strengthen your spirit and keep you grounded in the principles that lead to true prosperity. Do not hesitate to seek wise counsel when making financial decisions. Surround yourself with people who share your values and have experience in handling wealth responsibly. Their advice will be invaluable as you navigate the new opportunities and responsibilities that come with increased wealth. Be cautious, but also be courageous. Some opportunities that come your way may require faith and bold action. When you feel uncertain, come to me in prayer. I will give you the clarity and peace you need to move forward. Remember, I am not only the giver of your wealth, but also your most trusted advisor. As this abundance flows into your life, you will discover new passions and purposes. Perhaps you will be drawn to support causes that improve education, fight poverty, or heal the sick. These passions are gifts from me, ways for you to use your wealth for greater good. Embrace them with enthusiasm and dedication. Furthermore, as you prosper, teach others the principles of financial wisdom and generosity that you have learned. Share your journey openly, including both your successes and challenges. Your transparency will encourage others and help them to trust in my provision as well. In times when the flow of wealth seems to slow or when challenges arise, do not be discouraged. These moments are part of the ebb and flow of life. Stay steadfast in your faith and maintain your commitment to your principles. I am with you in every season, and my promises to you are unchanging. Celebrate every victory and every blessing, no matter how small. Each one is a step towards the fulfillment of my plans for you. These celebrations will keep your spirit uplifted and remind you of my constant presence in your life. Always remember that you are not defined by your wealth. Your identity is in me, and your worth is based on my love for you, which is infinite and unconditional. Let this truth anchor you in humility and grace as you enjoy the blessings I am pouring into your life. My dear child, the path before you is bright with the promise of abundance. Money is indeed flowing towards you like a magnet, bringing wealth abundantly. Stand ready to receive it and be prepared to use it in ways that honor me and bring joy to your heart. I am always here, loving you, guiding you, and celebrating each step you take. Trust in my good plans for you and look forward with hope and expectation to the incredible things that are yet to come. May these words encourage you and prepare you for the abundant blessings on their way to you. My dear child, I am deeply concerned about the difficult situations you are facing. I see the struggles that weigh heavily on your heart, and I understand the challenges that seem to surround you. You may feel alone at times, as if no one truly understands what you are going through. But I want you to know that I am with you always, and I am fully aware of every detail of your life. These hardships you are encountering are not unnoticed by me. I am not distant or detached from your pain. Instead, I am right beside you, feeling every emotion and hearing every thought. It is in these moments of trial that I am closest to you, holding you up and giving you strength. 
You might wonder why these difficulties have come your way and why I have allowed them to persist. The reasons may not be clear now, but they are part of a larger plan, a plan to strengthen your character, to deepen your faith, and to prepare you for greater things ahead. These trials are not meant to harm you, but to mold you into the person you are destined to become. I urge you to trust me during these times. Lean on me when you feel weak, talk to me when you feel alone, and rely on my guidance when the way forward seems unclear. I am a source of infinite wisdom and comfort, and I am always ready to listen and help. During these tough times, remember that you are not walking this path alone. I have placed people in your life who care about you and want to support you. Do not hesitate to reach out to them, share your burdens, and accept their help. Community is one of the gifts I provide to ease your journey. Furthermore, use this time to grow in patience and resilience. These virtues are valuable not just for your current situation, but for all of life's challenges. Each day that you persevere, you are becoming stronger and your faith is becoming deeper. These are treasures that adversity can help build, treasures that last a lifetime. I also encourage you to look for the lessons in your struggles. Every challenge teaches something valuable, whether it's about yourself, about life, or about faith. Type 1111 to claim it. Seek out these lessons, learn from them, and let them guide you towards wiser choices and a more fulfilling life. Do not lose hope, my child. I have great plans for you, plans to give you a future filled with hope and success. This period of hardship is just a chapter in your story, and it will lead to a rewarding conclusion. Your current pain will turn into tomorrow's joy, and your tears will be replaced with laughter. As you face each day, keep your eyes fixed on the promises I have made to you. These promises are sure and unchanging. I have promised to provide for you, to protect you, and to give you peace. Hold these promises close to your heart, and let them comfort you in your darkest moments. In addition, make time to nourish your spirit. Read my words, pray, and meditate on my teachings. These practices will refresh you and give you the strength to continue. They will also keep you connected to me, your greatest supporter and your loving father. Be courageous, even when fear tries to overwhelm you. I am your shield and your defender. With me by your side, you have nothing to fear. Face each challenge with confidence, knowing that I am with you, fighting for you and turning every situation for your good. Finally, my dear child, remember that this difficult phase will pass. You will emerge from these trials stronger, wiser, and more equipped for the future. Until then, hold on to my hand, trust in my love, and keep moving forward. You are precious to me, and your well-being is my utmost concern. I am here, always ready to lift you up and carry you through every challenge. Let my love and my strength be your comfort and your guide as you navigate through these difficult times. My dear child, the Lord your God is with you, the mighty warrior who saves. I am here, right by your side, in every moment of your life. You may face challenges that seem insurmountable, but remember, you are not facing them alone. I am here to protect, to guide, and to fight for you. As your mighty warrior, I provide strength when you feel weak, wisdom when you are confused, and peace when you are anxious. My presence in your life is constant and unchanging, even when circumstances seem to suggest otherwise. Trust in me, for I am always working on your behalf, even in ways you might not see. 
when you feel overwhelmed by the problems around you, call on me. I am always ready to listen and to help. I will give you the courage to face whatever comes your way and the endurance to persevere through any trial. With me by your side, you have the victory, for there is no battle too great for me to handle. Remember the stories of those who trusted in me before you. Think of David, who faced Goliath, not with fear, but with faith in my power to save. Like David, you too can face your giants, knowing that I am with you, your mighty warrior who saves. I understand that the world can be a frightening place, full of uncertainties and trials. But do not let fear control you. Let your faith be bigger than your fear. When you are afraid, speak my promises over your life. Say to yourself, the Lord my God is with me, the mighty warrior who saves. This truth will give you strength and courage. You are never alone in any situation. Whether you are walking through dark valleys or standing on mountain peaks, I am with you. My love surrounds you, my power protects you, and my wisdom guides you. Keep your eyes fixed on me, and let my presence overshadow all your fears and doubts. In times of trouble, I will defend you. In times of weakness, I will be your strength. In moments of sadness, I will be your comfort. I am not just a passive observer in your life, I am an active participant eager to provide for you and protect you. Also, I call on you to be brave and bold. Do not shrink back in fear, but step forward in faith. Take risks when I lead you to them, and trust that I am with you, guiding your steps. Your bravery, combined with my guidance, will lead to great adventures and significant victories. When you pray to me, know that I hear every word. Your prayers rise to me like incense, and they move my heart. I respond not always in the ways you expect, but always in the ways that are best for you. Be patient as you wait for my answers, and trust that my timing is perfect. Remember, my child, that I am not only your protector but also your greatest encourager. I believe in you even more than you believe in yourself. I see your potential, your resilience, and your heart. With me by your side, you can achieve great things, more than you can even imagine. Encourage others as I have encouraged you. Share the message of my presence and protection with those around you. Let them know that they too have a mighty warrior on their side. Your testimony can bring hope and strength to others who are struggling. In your daily life, keep a spirit of gratitude. Thank me for the seen and unseen ways I work in your life. Gratitude will keep your heart open to recognizing my presence and will fill you with peace and joy. No matter what comes your way, hold on to the truth that I am with you, the mighty warrior who saves. This knowledge will give you the assurance to face life's challenges with confidence and peace. You are safe under my watch, protected by my power, and guided by my love. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. This promise is your certainty in an uncertain world. My dear child, I know the worries that cloud your mind, especially those concerning your financial obligations. You look at the bills, the due dates approaching, and wonder how it will all work out. I see your concern, and I want to assure you, all your bills will be settled well before their due dates. This promise is not just to ease your financial strain, but to remind you of my constant provision and care in every aspect of your life. Trust is essential as you walk this journey. Trust that I am your provider and that I have your best interests at heart. I understand the burden financial stress can place on you, and it is my desire to lift this burden from your shoulders. 
Believe in my ability to provide for you, just as I have done in the past, and know that I will continue to do so. To see this promise fulfilled, it is important that you manage your finances wisely. Be diligent in planning and prudent in spending. Use the resources I have given you wisely and avoid unnecessary expenditures. As you take practical steps to manage your finances, you are acting in faith, and this pleases me. Remember, my provision can come in many forms. It may be through unexpected sources of income, reductions in expenses, or even gifts from others. Be open to receive and acknowledge these provisions as signs of my care for you. Each act of provision is a reminder that I am actively involved in the details of your life. I encourage you to keep a record of every instance where you see my hand providing for you. This record will be a testament to my faithfulness and will strengthen your faith in times of doubt. When you look back on these records, you will be amazed at how I have moved in your life, and your heart will overflow with gratitude. As you experience my provision, share your testimony with others. Your stories of my faithfulness can inspire and encourage those who might be struggling with similar worries. When they see how I have worked in your life, their faith can be strengthened, and they too will trust in my provision. Do not let worry consume you. When anxieties come, bring them to me in prayer. I am always ready to listen, and my peace, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind. This peace is a gift from me to you, enabling you to face each day with confidence, knowing that I am in control. Furthermore, as you trust in my provision, you will find that your attitude toward money and resources changes. You will move from a mindset of scarcity to one of abundance. With this mindset, you can be generous to others, sharing what you have because you trust in my continuous provision for you. Practicing gratitude daily can also transform how you view your circumstances. Thank each day for the blessings you have, no matter how small they may seem. This attitude of gratitude keeps your heart in the right place and attracts even more blessings. Also, seek wisdom in financial matters. There is much to learn about managing money effectively, and gaining this knowledge can help you make informed decisions. I will guide you to resources and people who can teach you these valuable skills. As you grow in knowledge, you will become even more adept at stewarding the resources I provide. Stay committed to living within your means and avoid the trap of accumulating debt. Living responsibly in this way is not only wise but also frees you from financial bondage. Type 1 Love You God It allows you to experience true freedom and joy in your life, unencumbered by the stress of overdue bills. Remember, my dear child, that my promises are true and faithful. As you walk in obedience and trust, you will see my hand moving mightily in your life to settle all your bills well before their due dates. This is my commitment to you, born out of my infinite love and desire for your well-being. Keep your faith strong and continue to follow the path I have laid out for you. I am with you always, guiding, providing, and loving you every step of the way. May these words comfort you and fortify your faith in my promise. Trust in my provision, manage your resources wisely, and watch as I settle all your bills well before their due times. Your faith and obedience pave the way for my abundant blessings. My dear child, I have decided to take an important decision to help you. This decision comes from my deep love for you and my desire to see you thrive and be happy. I know the burdens you've been carrying and the challenges that seem to overwhelm you. You might not understand it all now, but know that my plans are for your good. 
As I move to help you, I want you to trust in my wisdom and timing. Sometimes my ways might seem mysterious, but every step I take is to lead you to a better place. This decision is designed to lift some of the weight off your shoulders and guide you into a season of renewal and growth. You may have been praying for a change, for a breakthrough in certain areas of your life, and I have heard your prayers. The decision I've made will answer those prayers in ways you might not expect but will eventually see as the best outcome. It's important for you to keep your heart open and your faith strong as these changes unfold. This help will come in various forms. It might be through new opportunities that suddenly appear, people who enter your life to offer support, or even a shift in your circumstances that brings new perspective and hope. Each of these is a part of the execution of my decision to help you. Do not be afraid of the changes to come. While change can be unsettling, it is also a powerful way to experience growth and gain strength. Embrace each new situation with a hopeful heart, knowing that I am with you, guiding your steps and protecting you. Remember, my child, that my help often requires action on your part. While I am paving the way, you too must walk it. Be proactive in your life, seize the opportunities one provide, and be courageous in the face of new challenges. Your active participation is key to realizing the fullness of my plans for you. In times of doubt, when you are unsure of the path ahead, come to me in prayer. I am always listening, and I will give you the assurance and peace you need to move forward. Let my words in the scriptures comfort you and guide you, they are a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. Be patient, my dear child, because some aspects of my decision will take time to unfold. Trust that even when progress seems slow, every moment is part of a beautiful tapestry I am weaving in your life. Your patience will be rewarded with outcomes far better than you can imagine. As you notice these changes beginning to take shape in your life, take time to reflect on where you've been and where you're heading. This reflection will help you see the progress you're making and understand the reasons behind the paths I've chosen for you. Also, use this time to strengthen your relationship with me. The closer you are to me, the more you will understand my heart for you and the clearer my guidance will become. In my presence, you will find the strength and wisdom to handle whatever comes your way. I encourage you to share your journey with others. Your experiences can serve as encouragement to those around you who might be facing their own struggles. As you testify of how I am helping you, your story will uplift others and spread hope. Remember to show gratitude for every small blessing along the way. Gratitude opens your heart to receive more and fills your life with joy. It transforms how you see the world and helps you to recognize my hand in everything. Finally, know that my love for you is unchanging and my commitment to your well-being is unwavering. Type God is with me. I am your father, your helper, and your greatest advocate. The decision I have made to help you is filled with infinite love and profound wisdom. You are not alone in this journey. As we move forward together, keep your eyes on the promises I have made. They are sure and steadfast, and they will guide you through any storm. Trust in my love and my plans, for they are always for your good. Continue to walk in faith knowing that my guidance is always aimed at your ultimate good. Every challenge you face and every blessing you receive is part of the plan I have crafted uniquely for you. This decision I have made to help you will bring forth outcomes that nurture your growth and deepen your understanding of my presence in your life. As you move through this phase, be vigilant in observing the ways in which my help manifests in your life. 
You might find it in the quiet moments of reassurance when you least expect it or in the loud cheers of victory in significant achievements. Each is a sign of my active involvement in your journey. Stay connected with those who uplift you and inspire your faith. Community is crucial as it provides support and strength beyond your own. The encouragement of fellow believers can bolster your resolve and remind you that you are part of a larger body, all guided by my hand. In addition, as you navigate the changes and embrace the opportunities that come with my decision, maintain a spirit of humility. Recognize that while my help will elevate you, it is also meant to empower you to assist others. The blessings you receive are not just for your benefit but are tools for service to be shared with others in generosity and love. Furthermore, keep a journal of your experiences during this time. Write down the instances of my help, the challenges you overcome, and the insights you gain. This record will not only serve as a personal reminder of my faithfulness, but will also be a testament to others of the work I am doing in your life. Be diligent in your personal growth as well. Continue to learn, to expand your understanding, and to apply wisdom in all aspects of your life. My decision to help you will often come through the new knowledge and wisdom you gain, which will equip you for future challenges and opportunities. Always be mindful of your well-being, both spiritually and physically. Take care of the temple I have given you, for a healthy body supports a strong spirit. Engage in activities that nourish both your body and soul, and find balance in your pursuits to maintain a healthy rhythm in life. Expect resistance and challenges as a natural part of growth. The path to fulfillment is rarely without obstacles, but these are not signs of my absence, rather, they are opportunities to demonstrate the strength of your faith and the power of my support. Face them with the assurance that you are not striving alone. Lastly, always look forward with hope. The best is yet to come, and my decision to help you is just the beginning of a series of blessed events that will unfold in your life. With each step forward, you are moving closer to the full realization of my plans for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. So, my dear child, be encouraged and keep pressing on. The road ahead is bright with the promise of my continued presence and support. Trust in my decision to help you, for it is made with the deepest love and the highest hopes for your life. May these continued words strengthen and inspire you as you witness the unfolding of my loving decision to assist you in your journey. Trust in my unwavering support and look forward to the bright future that lies ahead, filled with my blessings and guidance. My dear child, I know the difficulties you face and the problems that seem to cloud your days. I understand your frustrations and the weariness that comes from carrying burdens that feel too heavy. But I want to reassure you with a promise, you will find the answers to all your problems. I am here to guide you, to provide clarity and solutions, and to lead you to a place of peace. Trust that I am always working in your life, even when it seems like nothing is changing. The answers you seek are often closer than you think, and sometimes they come in ways you might not expect. Be open to the possibilities I place before you, and be willing to consider solutions that may at first seem unusual or challenging. The process of finding these answers will require patience and persistence. Do not be discouraged if solutions do not appear immediately. Some answers come quickly, while others unfold over time. This is a journey, and every step is important. Type Amen to claim it. Each moment of waiting and every instance of uncertainty is an opportunity to grow in faith and trust in me. 
As you seek answers, spend time in prayer and reflection. Talk to me about your struggles, I am always listening. The more you communicate with me, the more you will understand my voice and recognize my guidance. I will offer you wisdom that can turn complexities into clear paths forward. In addition to prayer, seek wisdom from the scriptures and from those who have walked the path of faith before you. Many have faced similar problems and have found the answers through their faith. Their experiences and insights can be a light for you in dark times, offering hope and direction. Be vigilant in observing the world around you, for I often speak through everyday circumstances. The answers to your problems might be found in the advice of a friend, an article you read, or a sudden inspiration during a quiet moment. Be mindful of these messages, as they are often subtle yet profound. Also, remember that the journey to finding answers is as important as the solutions themselves. Along the way, you will learn about yourself, about others, and about the world. These lessons are invaluable and will equip you for future challenges. Embrace the learning process and let it mold you into a wiser, stronger person. As you progress on this path, maintain a heart of gratitude. Be thankful for the small victories and the incremental progress. Gratitude will keep your heart open and receptive to the answers when they come. It will also keep you filled with peace and joy even amidst trials. Do not isolate yourself as you seek answers. Share your journey with trusted friends or family members. They can offer support, insight, and encouragement. Sometimes, just speaking your problems out loud can bring clarity, and the perspective of others can reveal solutions you hadn't considered. When you find answers, take decisive action. Implement the solutions with courage and faith. Trust that the steps you take, guided by my hand, will lead to resolution and peace. Act boldly, knowing that I am with you, empowering and supporting you. Finally, once you have overcome these problems, use your experience to help others. Your journey and the answers you found can be a beacon of hope for those who are still searching. Share your story, spread hope, and be a reflection of my love and grace to the world. Remember, my dear child, that you are never alone in your search for answers. I am with you every step of the way, providing guidance, strength, and comfort. Keep your eyes fixed on me, and trust that the answers you seek are within your reach. May these words encourage and reassure you as you navigate your challenges. Remember, the answers are coming, and with them, peace and understanding. Trust in my promise and keep moving forward with faith. Continue to hold on to hope and know that each challenge you face is an opportunity to deepen your reliance on me. Your journey towards finding answers is not just about resolving issues, but about strengthening your connection with me. As you grow in this relationship, you will find that the answers come more clearly and your peace deepens. Stay committed to your spiritual practices. Regular prayer, meditation, and study of the scriptures are essential. These practices keep your spirit attuned to my voice and your heart aligned with my will. They are your source of strength and wisdom, helping you to discern the right path and the steps you need to take. Be patient and do not rush the process. Sometimes, the answers you seek may take time to reveal themselves as they are often connected to deeper growth and understanding. Trust that I am working out everything for your good, even when the pace seems slow. My timing is perfect, and my plans are always for your benefit. Remember that sometimes the answers may not be what you expect or hope for. My ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. 
Be open to the possibility that the true answers may involve change or a new direction that you had not considered. Embrace these with an open heart, trusting that they lead to greater joy and fulfillment. As you continue on this path, maintain a spirit of flexibility and adaptability. Being rigid can block the flow of solutions and opportunities. Instead, be willing to adapt your thoughts and actions as new information and wisdom become available. This flexibility allows you to navigate through life's complexities with grace and effectiveness. Surround yourself with a supportive community that shares your values and strengthens your faith. Fellowship with others provides comfort, advice, and encouragement. It also gives you a chance to serve and support others, which can be a profound way to gain insight and perspective on your own situations. Throughout this process, keep your focus on the larger picture. While the problems you face may seem all-consuming at times, remember that they are part of a bigger story, your life's journey. Each challenge is a chapter that contributes to a larger narrative filled with growth, learning, and eventual triumph. When you experience moments of doubt or discouragement, reflect on past victories and answered prayers. Remembering these can bolster your faith and remind you that you have overcome before and will do so again. My faithfulness extends through all time, and your history with me is filled with evidence of my care and provision. In your quest for answers, do not neglect your well-being. Ensure that you are taking care of your physical, emotional, and mental health. A balanced approach to life enhances your ability to process and implement the answers you receive. Healthy habits also position you to be more resilient and energetic as you tackle your challenges. Lastly, express your love and gratitude to those around you. The relationships you cultivate can be both a source of support and a means of experiencing the very answers you seek. Love and gratitude create a positive environment that fosters mutual help and shared victories. So, my dear child, continue forward with courage, faith, and anticipation. The answers you seek are on their way, and they will bring resolution and clarity. Keep your heart open, your mind alert, and your spirit connected to me. Together, we will navigate every problem and find the peace and solutions you need. May these continued assurances strengthen your resolve as you seek answers. With faith, patience, and an open heart, you will discover the solutions you need and experience the fullness of peace and understanding I have for you. Keep pressing on, my dear child, with your eyes on the promises and your heart full of hope. I am working behind the scenes, and although you might not see immediate results, know that my plans are unfolding precisely as they should. Your diligence and trust are key components in seeing these promises come to fruition. Stay connected with me through prayer and meditation on my word. This spiritual discipline not only strengthens your faith, but also keeps you aligned with my will. As you grow closer to me, you will find that your worries about financial matters diminish, and your trust in my provision increases. It is also important to cultivate a lifestyle of contentment. In a world that constantly pushes for more, find satisfaction in what you have, knowing that I have provided it and will continue to provide for your needs. This contentment will bring peace to your life and will keep you focused on what truly matters. Engage in community and fellowship with other believers. Sharing your challenges and victories with others who are walking a similar path can provide comfort and insight. Moreover, as part of a community, you can support others in their needs, and they can support you, creating a network of provision that often works in remarkable ways.
be proactive in creating a budget and sticking to it. A budget is a tool that helps you to see where your money is going and how best to allocate it. It allows you to make wise choices and ensures that you are prepared for future expenses, including settling your bills well in advance. Take time to reflect on how far you have come and the progress you have made. Reflection can be a powerful tool for recognizing my hand at work in your life. It also provides motivation to continue in obedience and trust, knowing that you are not alone and that I am faithfully working on your behalf. In moments of doubt or when faced with financial decisions, seek my guidance. I promise to give you the wisdom you need to make decisions that align with my will and lead to your prosperity. This wisdom will help you navigate complex financial landscapes and make choices that ensure your stability and peace. As you see your bills being settled and your financial obligations met, your faith will be strengthened. Each bill paid before its due date is a testament to my promise and your obedience. Let these moments reinforce your trust in me and encourage you to rely even more fully on my provision. Comment I believe in Jesus. Remember to give thanks for every blessing, no matter how small. A heart of gratitude not only honors me but also opens the door to more blessings. It shifts your focus from what you lack to what you have, creating a spirit of abundance that can transform your entire life. Lastly, do not forget to celebrate the victories along the way. Whether it is a bill paid off or a financial goal achieved, take time to celebrate these milestones. These celebrations are acknowledgments of my goodness and faithfulness and serve as reminders of what we can accomplish together. My dear child, you are not defined by your financial situation. You are my beloved, cared for and cherished beyond measure. Trust in my promises and follow the path I have laid out for you. As you do, you will see that all your bills are settled well before their due dates, and your heart will be filled with peace and assurance. Remember, my provision is sure, and my love for you is unending. Keep walking in faith, and watch as my promises unfold in your life. My dear child, believe in God's promises, and watch as miracles unfold in your life. This is a call to step into a realm of faith where the ordinary becomes extraordinary through my touch. Each promise I make is a seed of a miracle waiting to sprout in the fertile soil of your belief. I understand that at times, the challenges you face can overshadow your faith. The weight of worry and doubt may cloud your vision, making it difficult to see my hand at work. However, I am always near, working behind the scenes, arranging circumstances for your ultimate good. Start each day with a prayer of faith, affirming your belief in my promises. Speak them out loud, write them down, keep them before your eyes. This daily act of faith will strengthen your spirit and sharpen your ability to see my miraculous interventions. Remember, faith is not just hoping for the best, it is trusting in me when circumstances suggest otherwise. It is believing that the mountains before you will move even when they seem immovable. With each step of faith you take, you are drawing closer to the realization of the miracles I have planned for you. As you journey through life, keep your heart tuned to the frequency of gratitude. Thankfulness is a powerful expression of faith, acknowledging that even before you see the outcome, you trust that I am working on your behalf. This attitude of gratitude will create an environment where miracles can thrive. Do not be discouraged by the time it takes for promises to become realities. Miraculous transformations often occur gradually, not instantly. A seed does not become a tree overnight, 
nor does a caterpillar become a butterfly in a moment. In the same way, the unfolding of my promises in your life may take time. Be patient and maintain your faith, for at the appointed time, the full beauty of my plans will be revealed. Stay connected with fellow believers who can support and encourage your faith. Share your hopes and dreams with them and let them pray with you and for you. Their faith can help lift yours when it falters and together your combined strength will be greater than any challenge. Also, be vigilant against the voice of doubt and fear. These are the enemies of faith and the thieves of miracles. When doubts arise, combat them with the truth of my word. My scriptures are full of my promises and testimonies of my faithfulness. Let these be the sword with which you fight against skepticism and negativity. Actively seek to recognize the miracles already occurring around you. Often, miracles are not grandiose events but are instead subtle shifts that change the course of your life. It could be a timely word from a friend, an unexpected opportunity, or even a change in your own heart. Acknowledge these as divine interventions and let them bolster your faith. Be bold in your prayers. Ask for big things, things that seem impossible. My power is not limited by human constraints. Remember, I am the God who parted the seas, raised the dead, and fed thousands with a few loaves and fishes. There is nothing too difficult for me. Prepare yourself to receive miracles. This means aligning your actions with your faith. If you are believing for financial breakthrough, manage your current resources wisely. If you are trusting for reconciliation in relationships, be proactive in showing love and forgiveness. Your actions are powerful expressions of your faith. Finally, my dear child, know that my love for you is boundless and my power limitless. The miracles I have in store for you are rooted in my profound desire for your joy and well-being. Keep your eyes on me, not on the obstacles you face. Type 222 if you believe in God. Stand firm in your belief and you will witness the extraordinary become your reality. Continue to immerse yourself in the stories of faith from the scriptures and from the lives of those around you. These stories are not just ancient texts or distant tales, they are examples of real faith in action, serving as guides and inspirations for your own journey. As you read about how I have moved in the lives of others, let these accounts stir your faith and expand your vision of what is possible. Embrace the discipline of meditation, focusing on my promises and my character. This practice will deepen your connection with me and fortify your spirit against doubts. As you meditate, let my spirit fill you with peace and assurance. This peace is a sign of my presence and a precursor to the miracles I am preparing to perform in your life. In your walk of faith, do not overlook the small beginnings or the modest miracles. Celebrate every sign of my hand at work no matter how minor it may seem. These small victories are the building blocks of greater miracles. They are evidence of my active presence in your life, continually working all things together for your good. Be mindful of your speech, for words have the power to build up or tear down faith. Speak positively, affirming my promises and declaring your trust in me. Let your words reflect the confidence you have in my power to do the impossible. This practice will not only reinforce your own faith, but can also inspire others around you to believe in my promises. As you continue to walk in faith, be prepared to step out of your comfort zone. Miracles often require you to take actions that may feel risky or frightening. Remember, Peter had to step out of the boat to walk on water. In the same way, 
you may need to take bold steps that defy logic or comfort to experience the fullness of my miraculous power. Encourage others in their faith journey. Just as you need support and encouragement, others do too. Share your faith, your struggles, and the victories you have experienced. Your testimony can be a powerful tool that helps others to hold on to hope and to dare to believe that they, too, can see miracles in their lives. Keep a journal of your faith journey, noting every instance where you see my hand at work. This journal can serve as a personal reminder of my faithfulness when you face new challenges or when your faith begins to waver. It will be a tangible record of my faithfulness and a source of strength in times of doubt. Continue to seek my presence through worship, both in community and in solitude. Worship connects your heart directly to mine, aligning your spirit with my purposes and opening your eyes to see the miraculous in everyday life. In these moments of closeness, I will refresh your spirit and renew your faith. Always remember that my timing is perfect. While you may desire immediate answers and quick solutions, my timing is designed to bring about not just temporary relief but lasting change. Trust that I know when and how to deliver the miracles you need and that my timing will always serve your best interests. Lastly, never lose sight of the ultimate miracle, my love for you, demonstrated through my Son, Jesus. This gift of love is the greatest miracle of all, providing not only for your earthly needs but for your eternal future. Let this assurance of my everlasting love be the foundation of your faith. May these continued words of encouragement and guidance fortify your faith as you believe in my promises. Watch diligently, for as you do, you will see miracles unfold in your life that testify to my goodness and power. Keep your heart and eyes open and prepare to be amazed at what I will do. My dear child, embrace this blessing and enjoy the abundance it brings. I have opened the gates of heaven to shower you with blessings that are rich and plentiful. These are not just to meet your needs but to give you a fullness of life that overflows into joy and gratitude. I want you to receive this blessing with open arms. Understand that it comes from my deep love for you, a love that desires not just to sustain you but to delight you. Each aspect of this blessing is tailored to bring you happiness, peace and prosperity. As you embrace this abundance, remember that it is meant to be enjoyed. Take time to truly appreciate what you have been given. Notice the small joys as well as the large gains. Whether it's a peaceful moment, a financial breakthrough, or a restored relationship, each is a part of the abundant life I am granting you. Be generous with the abundance you receive. Share it with others who are in need. The true joy in abundance comes not just from what it can do for you, but from what it allows you to do for others. As you give freely, you will find that your own joy increases and your sense of abundance grows even more. Type 888 if you believe in angels. Stay humble as you enjoy this abundance. Remember that it is a gift from me and give thanks often. Gratitude keeps your heart in the right place and attracts even more blessings. It is also a testimony to those around you of my goodness and your faith in me. Use this abundance wisely. While it is for your enjoyment, it also carries a responsibility. Make wise decisions that not only benefit you now but also secure your future and reflect your values. Wisdom in handling blessings ensures they will be long-lasting and impactful. Do not be overwhelmed by the abundance. Sometimes, when much is given, it can feel daunting to manage. Trust that I will also provide you with the wisdom and guidance to use what you have been given effectively. 
Seek advice from wise counsel and pray for continued insight into managing your blessings. Celebrate this new phase of abundance in your life. Mark this moment as a significant milestone in your journey. Celebrating acknowledges my role in your blessings and reinforces your faith. It's also an opportunity to share your joy with others, spreading hope and encouragement. As you enjoy the abundance, also use it to grow personally and spiritually. Let it not just change your circumstances, but also enhance your character. Allow the comfort and opportunities it provides to lead you into deeper reflections, bolder faith, and more vigorous pursuit of your goals. Prepare yourself for even more blessings. Often, one blessing is just the beginning. As you remain faithful and grateful, you open the way for more blessings to flow into your life. Live in expectation of good things and maintain a posture of readiness to receive. Teach others from your experience. As you have learned to embrace and manage abundance, share these lessons with others. Your insights can help someone else prepare for and manage their own blessings. In teaching, you solidify your own understanding and contribute to a cycle of blessing and growth. Reflect on the journey that has brought you here. Remember the times of scarcity and challenge, and see how they have shaped you and prepared you for this time of abundance. This reflection will deepen your appreciation of the blessings and the lessons they bring. Continue to trust in me. Even as you enjoy the abundance, keep your trust firmly placed in me, not in the gifts themselves. My love for you is constant and is not measured merely by material abundance but by the fullness of life that I offer you. Look for ways to use your abundance to further good in the world. Your blessings have a purpose beyond your own life. They are tools for building, healing, and enriching the lives of others. Find joy in being a conduit of my generosity and love. Lastly, always remember that this abundance is just a part of the wonderful plans I have for you. It is a piece of the greater mosaic of your life, designed to bring you into deeper experiences of joy, purpose, and fulfillment. Enjoy the abundance, knowing that it comes from a place of divine love and has the power to transform not only your life but also the lives of those around you. Reflect on each day and see where my blessings manifest in your life, both big and small. Recognize that abundance isn't solely about material wealth, but about a richness of spirit, love, joy, and peace that permeates your being. Maintain a balance in your life. While it's important to enjoy and utilize the abundance I provide, it's equally important to maintain a balanced lifestyle that keeps your spiritual, physical, and emotional health in check. Let the abundance enhance your life, not become your life. Ensure that your pursuit of goals and dreams remains aligned with your values and my will. Keep your relationships a priority. Abundance can bring many benefits, but it should never come at the cost of the relationships that matter most. Use this season of abundance to strengthen bonds with family and friends, to mend any strained relationships, and to forge new connections that enrich your life and theirs. As you navigate through this time of plenty, be vigilant against complacency. Sometimes, abundance can lead to a sense of self-sufficiency that diminishes the reliance on me. Remember, your strength and provision come from me, not from the wealth or resources themselves. Stay dependent on me and let your abundance be a tool for deeper spiritual engagement rather than a distraction. Encourage a spirit of innovation and creativity in how you apply the abundance in your life. Think outside the box about how to use what you've been given to solve problems, create new opportunities, and make a lasting impact. 
Your creativity in stewarding your resources can lead to extraordinary outcomes that glorify me and benefit others. Continue to seek my guidance in prayer as you make decisions about using your abundance. I am always here to direct your steps and provide clarity when the path seems unclear. My wisdom is always available to you and I delight in helping you navigate every aspect of your life. Consider the legacy you are building with the abundance I have given you. Think about how you can use it to leave a lasting impact that extends beyond your lifetime. This could be through charitable giving, investments in community projects, or simply through the way you raise your children to handle blessings responsibly. Stay joyful and celebratory, but also grounded in humility. It is a beautiful thing to celebrate the blessings I pour into your life, but always with a heart that recognizes the source. Let your joy be contagious, a beacon that draws others to me, revealing the nature of my generosity and care. Prepare for fluctuations. Life is full of seasons, and just as seasons change, so too can the nature of abundance. If you face a season where things seem less plentiful, remember the lessons learned during times of plenty. Use those lessons to maintain a steady course, confident in my provision and care, regardless of external circumstances. Subscribe our channel for daily God blessing. Lastly, as you enjoy this period of abundance, continue to serve and honor me in all you do. Let your life be a testament to my goodness and faithfulness. Show others that true abundance is about so much more than material wealth, it's about a life filled with purpose, love, and divine fulfillment. Remember that this abundance is not just for your enjoyment, but also a tool for greater good. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you're notified whenever we post a new video. Until next time, take care, and we'll see you in the next one.